All right, as far as uh, putting down the, uh, the the gasket, what I did is I just first placed it uh, around there and took the six uh, screws that are going to hold the unit, the top unit and the lower unit together. I put them in there just to hold the gasket in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up uh, and put in the, the gasket sealant all the way around. Um, and then it'll, it'll be down and then we can... Uh, Turn it over, put it together, and all should be good. All right, so the gasket's in. I've uh, affixed the top portion. Um, really, ought to read the instructions a little more. You can see the gasket is to the inside. Uh, there, the holes. When you get ready to lay that gasket down, there's holes toward. They're not in the middle of the gasket. They're to one side. I may should have flipped the gasket so that the biggest portion of the gasket was laying to the outside instead of being on the on the inside like this I, I don't think it's really gonna make any difference one way or the other uh, the hardest thing is you know when I got ready to put it on uh, the holes weren't lined up just right and I had to kind of just slide it um, if yours is dented on the edge which mine was and I really don't care it's, it's not going to affect the uh, uh, overall use of it but be sure that you pry out any bent edges pry them all the way out because they will you get ready to put it on here and you got your gasket sealer on you, you won't be able to get it down over the edge so i had a couple places where uh, there was one and on the other and right here uh, where i did not um, have it pried out and had to quickly try to pry it and knock it down when i had my gasket sealer on there so uh, I'll tell you one thing, this thing is loud. I mean, that's just the nature of that metal. Uh, but it, it's a loud unit. It's not a, it's not quiet. And with the motor running, it'll be louder than that. Okay, when you go to put your paddles in, uh, first just put affix the bolt in the back. And these are the screws out of bag number six. So you're going to put this one in like so. Then twist it around. And then you may have to kind of, you're going to take it up and bend it down to where it'll then fix in place. But that's, that's how it goes. So put it in first, then, then twist it around, and then the, the screw will be affixed right there. I'm going to put my bolt uh, to the inside so if it's turning, it doesn't catch you on the hand, cut you or something. All right, so there's the paddles. Uh, they're fully installed. Bolts have been tightened. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the housing. I've already just put it in place. Uh, but we're going to attach the motor housing. Uh, there's also, you see it right over there, uh, the motor support bracket, uh, which will be those two notches down below. We'll put that on, and we've got to unscrew the little washer, and we're going to put the, uh, the, the pulley wheel on there as well. Okay, I've uh, mounted, there's a, this little piece is in a bag by itself, I forget which number. Uh, these screws, I don't know why they got such little skinny screws, they don't really, they're long enough, but they're really not uh, big enough diameter in my opinion. Maybe later I can replace those. Uh, but we've got that, and that's what's going to hold this right here, and we'll get the height of the motor adjusted properly. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to put the... Uh, pulley wheel on the end of it and we'll get it up there get it mounted and should be pretty close to being able to put the um, put the cover on of course I got to fix the broken box uh, be ready to go and just see uh, how many decibels this thing puts out when it turns because it's got to be loud okay so I've got the motor uh, installed um, there were only two I could only find two bolts to, to hold this motor down and really don't need that much. So I put one on this corner and one on this corner over here. Uh, I think the belt's fine. Um, so we're just gonna take this back, this wire, and feed it down into the, the box. Again, these, these pieces were broken off uh, right here. Uh, I've got them pushed back into place, but it's still, I'm gonna see if I can heat that up and mold that plastic together with a little torch kind of melt it together uh, but then I'm going to put a uh, some caulk or liquid nail or something along the edge 
that will hold this permanently because if I need any access to it I can take these four screws off the top so that's really what should have been done those aren't adequate to, to hold it down and uh, that's it so I'll show you guys we're almost close enough to uh, do the final run alright here's the finished product got the uh, motor hood everything all mounted on there uh, I did originally I told you guys there were only two screws for the motor mount I did find the other two um, also when I was throwing the styrofoam away I found the, the longer screw uh, the bolt that goes right here to put pressure on the spring to, so you got pressure against it um, all in all I mean it seems fine uh, one of the things that I did let's rotate it all the way over is I shot grease I actually had it going the other way so it was going into it but I I took my grease gun and just ran it and shot grease in there thought it wouldn't hurt just to have a little bit uh, on there too much to sling a lot of it out but it's, I mean it's very very little but just uh, have a little um, seem like I could hear a little noise I don't know if the noise is inside the bearing the more it ran the quieter it got uh, I just don't know if that initial starting up, but I'm, I'm thinking some of the noise that I was hearing was in the in the bearings. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You know, you just got a you got metal, this grooved metal here against that metal wheel. I mean, it's it's gonna be a little loud. Ever so often, you hear it just hit one, it goes like it's clunking, like bam. And I just think there's some of the teeth. Uh, or some of the holes are not as punched through and when it when it hits that one it just makes a little bit louder noise but all in all I mean it's you know it seems to be fine uh, I put grease down in that one again one of the things they could do better is if they put little grease uh, grease nipples those little zerk, zerk tits on there um, but it may not be that big a deal um, but now there's really no noise. The noise I was hearing earlier was, like I said, it was kind of in there. Um, I didn't take the cover off, but it's, it's quietening down a lot. Uh, one of the things I'll note, let me turn it off. When you put the, uh, when you put the, um, the pulley on the motor, you got to put it to where the pulley side is all the way against the motor. Because uh, you're going to have to have it almost all the way. I left about a... 16th of an inch gap uh, but you're going to have to have that all the way against the motor for the belt to line up hey the last uh, thing I'll mention for the uh, one of the, the modif not modification but what I did there was a fair amount of the um, rubber seal sticking inward so I took the utility knife and just went along and just press really hard and just cut it so that that rubber seal wasn't sticking out uh, just to catch concrete and stuff like that so trim that off pull it all out uh, all in all I mean we'll I'll uh, of course post back when the uh, when we run a number of bags through it and report if there's any issues or any problems but uh, I'm, I'm very pleased uh, I look forward to the same working like it should uh, I'll mention also that on this right here this this switch was a little loose uh, my box on the inside had broken off so I ended up having to just get separate screws put in here and hold this in flush I wish I'd have taken some pictures this switch is now very uh, very firm it was rather loose at first but there's there's two little on each side there were two little round things that go around well, I broke them off so that they were sticking out on each side of the switch to hold it firm and not let it pop out uh, again, I wish I'd have taken a picture of that. Uh, but then the the box, the inside box was broken. I just used seal, uh, um, uh, the, well, the same sealant we used to do, put the the ga gasket sealant uh, to hold it down and it in place. And all in all, uh, I'm pleased. So hope this uh, does you guys some good. Don't read the directions if you listen to this. Uh, very, very easy to put together.